In this video, we're going to show you how to set up your concrete footing for your sliding gate and the best spot to put your guidepost. Now, first things first, what we need to do is measure the opening from where your gate's going to close to the guidepost. So let's do that. So from where your gate closes to the edge of the guidepost, we've got 3,900. So what we want to do is we want to make sure this footing is going to be long enough to facilitate that whole gate. So we need to make it an extra 100 mil so your gate will always stop past your guidepost. If your gate's automated, you'll have a 300 mil tail on the bottom of it. We need to take that into account. So we need to add 400 mil onto that 3,900. We also want to add an extra 200 mil for a safety stopper. So total, we should have a 4,500 mil footing. So from the edge of the footing, all the way back to the inside of the guidepost, the driveway side, we've got 4,500. That's gonna be perfect. Between your guidepost and your fence, you're gonna need 180 mil for your sliding gate to go through. Next, we need to make sure your motor pad's big enough. So your motor's gonna sit here and it's gonna pick the gate up. So you have your tail of your gate coming through. What we usually do here is we're about 250 mil off the back of the post and we're about 450 mil next to the post. That will give you plenty of room for your motor. The last thing we need to make sure we get right is the footing that runs all the way up. We want that to be about 200 mil so your track sits on that nicely. 